Well, hello. Today we're going to be tying this fly here. This is the pig sticker. And we'll be tying it on a umqua size 14 U204 uh, curved down eye 2x long hook is what we'll be using. And we'll be tying the variation here with the glass bead in the front. So the thread I like to use is this uni uh, 72 denier red for the main portion of the body. And the hot spot in the center is fire orange uni 72 denier. And you can tie it in a variation of different uh, wires. The one down here on the bottom is copper wire. The one on the top up here is silver wire. We're going to go silver wire. And the wire we're going to be using will be a brassy size uh, silver wire from UTC. And that's pretty much all the materials we're going to need besides a little bit of UV resin. The bead up in the front is a bead from like a bracelet making kit. Just a bunch of glass beads in a bag. You get them pretty cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bead on the hook, get it in the vise, and get this thing started. Okay, so we got our hook and bead in the vise there. I'm going to go ahead and take my wire here real quick, and I'm going to shove it up underneath that bead before starting my tie on here with my thread. So that way I got a, a nice little shape to this. Let's go ahead and cut that thread off there real quick. And I'm going to wrap this piece of wire all the way back to kind of give it a little bit bigger body shape. Because that's the thing with this fly is it's basically just thread wrapped around a hook. And to give it a little better look, you want to try to give it a little bit better shape of a body. That's why I like to put that black glass bead up in the front. It gives it a kind of a head look, I guess you can call it. So I'm just trying to cover over all that silver wire that's on there and also the color of the hook that shines through the thread there. And after I get a nice solid thread base down, then we'll start the rest of this. That's looking good. You can use thicker thread and cover this up faster. But I don't like using thicker thread because you can tend to make a body too big and too fat. Or you can put too much thread on the fly itself. And it just totally take away from what it needs to look like. Okay, I'm going to go up to the front here and I'm going to put a little whip finish on this one and remove it for now. I'll tie it back in in just a second. This is the easiest way I've found of adding the hot spot to the center is by cutting loose your other bobbin. I imagine if you had a uh, rotary vise, you could make that happen without having to disconnect your other thread, but in my case, I don't have one, so just going to keep wrapping there until we get a nice looking little hot spot in the center, I'm trying to not make it go too far out in both directions. I'm going to go ahead and whip finish that there and remove it. And I'm going to tie back in with this red thread right up to the front of that orange, fire orange that I just put on there. Clip the tail off of that. And then now we're going to start our counter wraps with our wire. I'm trying to go five to seven wraps evenly spaced around there because this adds a little bit more weight to the fly. And just a little bit more shiny attraction to the pattern. So 
to get that wrapped around there nice and even. It don't have to be even, it's just got to be wrapped around there and then secured. So now that I got that wrapped on around there, I'm just going to do one single whip finish because this fly requires a little bit of UV cement on there. So we'll just hit it with just a little bit of UV cement. Let that kind of soak into that thread just a tiny bit. Work its way on around. Maybe we'll use the end of the whip finisher to kind of even it out. And light. And there you have it. A fly with the hot spot in the center. The little worm pattern, just like a lot of the other little worm patterns out there just basically thread on a hook works great even in the middle of winter heat of summer deep water shallow water multiple different species this fly really does work good as much as i don't like to use it uh you can be adventurous with this one and get it all the way down into like size 10 if you have materials to make it look big and weird enough but you can also tie it down into size 20, 22, if you have finicky or small fish you're trying to fish for. Well, thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. There's the pig sticker.